What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a minimalistic makeup look that's also sweat bulletproof and if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching. <music> Okay guys, so I'm just going to start by doing my eyebrows. And I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. And I'm just gonna come through these. Since this is kind of like a minimalistic look, I'm not gonna do anything too much. Just kinda kinda feather the product through the brows. Just so I can fill in some of those sparse areas Now that brows are done, I'm going to move on to my face. And I'm gonna be using this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is like the little small version. And I don't know why, but I like the small version way better than when you buy the actual like size at Sephora or Ulta. This one is like a more moussey texture. And the one that I bought the full size one time, and it was super like watery and I just didn't like it so I just like the smaller size better and then I'm going to take my a cosmetic CC cream and this is in shade light I freaking love this stuff this is great for summer because it has SPF 50 in it which I'm a huge fanatic for anything that has SPF in it because I want to protect my skin and I'm just going to take that on a real technique sponge and I'm just going to dot this all over my face. And I'm also going to use this as concealer. And eyelid primer. This is just an easy summer look and also to help through sweating. And I don't like to put a whole lot of like foundation or anything like that on my skin when it's summertime just because when you start sweating, it just locks all that dirt in your pores and it's really gross and I just don't like that. I don't like that feeling of so much makeup on my skin in the summer. Plus there's no point because you're just gonna sweat it off anyways. a small brush like this one and I'll kind of just push the product in around it because it's hard to get around it with my beauty blender so I'll just pat in a small brush kind of go around my nose okay. and once it's to, it's to the intensity that you want it to be then I'm going to take some of my Cover FX powder in the shade Light, and I'm just going to press that into my skin to make this bulletproof, because I don't want my foundation swimming around on my skin. I'm just gonna put 
thin on my eyes. And if you're wondering why I'm looking over, you have a mirror right here so I can see. I'm just gonna press it on my forehead, my forehead lines, lapping lines. And then I'm gonna take an even bigger brush. This is a real technique one. And I'm just gonna put that in the powder. And I'm just gonna press this all over my skin. This will really make sure that the foundation will last all day and it won't get oily. And then what I'll do is after I take the Cover FX powder, I will take actual powder, this is my Smashbox one in the shade two, and this will help bring some life back to my skin. And so I'll just kind of run that in there. Look at that, that is past hitting pan. That is like, you need to buy a new one, but I don't want to because it's so expensive. I'm just gonna run that on my skin. Now I'm going to take my tried and true hula and I'm just going to bronze up my skin. And I have talked about this before in my everyday makeup tutorial, but I freaking love this brush that it comes with it. And no one talks about this brush and I have no idea why. Like it reminds me of the NARS Eda brush, um, but it's already in the freaking packaging and I freaking love it. It's great. And then I'll take a Sephora brush and I'll kind of just make sure it's really blended out. And I like to go down my neck. Make sure my whole face is just cohesive with how tan I am. I'm not tan, I'm white. What am I talking about? How tan I want to be. I'm just kind of... And then... I'll take my... Tarte brush and expose and I'll kind of put that on my cheeks. Just some light color and then I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that out. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this Hula bronzer again I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow because why not I just realized I forgot to moisturize my skin RIP, whatever, I'll move past it. I was kind of, I have no particular reason to do this. I'm just putting color in my crease. take the leftover and put it on my lid this is just like the perfect like brown color for summer it looks really really good with some mascara I love it
And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush for my lower lash line. And I'm gonna pop that underneath there. Make sure you connect the two so that way it looks like it's blended out really nice. And then I'm going to take my, oh my foot's asleep, I'm going to take my lash curler, curl my lashes. I like to give it like a couple squeezes. To really lift them up. I'm gonna take my Tarte mascara, as my tried and true, and I'm just going to put mascara on. Ooh, my foot's really asleep. And then, oh, where's my Laura Gillard Gillard, honey? Wah, I'm getting my highlighter. Oh. It was right here the whole time. Hey, <laughs> hi to buy everything else. So I'm gonna take Gilded Honey. And I'm going to put this on just this e.l.f. small taper brush and give myself a little bit of glow. I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus because it makes it more talc. And like when you spray your brush when you're highlighting your face, it makes sure that the highlight is not so powdery. kind of like sticks to your face a little bit better and it looks really good. Down my nose. Okay. And then after I apply highlight, I usually take my blush brush and I'll take some more blush just to try and make sure that the highlight is mixed well together and I'll just kind of go over it. Make sure it's blended so you don't have like a harsh like line. And then I will put some, no, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to see if my lashes are dry. They are. I'm going to curl them again. And I'm not going to put any mascara on my bottom just because I think it makes my eyes look more open when I have just it on my top. It's personal preference. You can do whatever you want. And I know people are like, don't curl your eyelashes after you put mascara on, but you can. As long as you make sure you're cleaning your eyelash curler because it can gunk up right here. Make sure you're just taking a wipe or makeup wipe and you wipe it off and then I usually spray mine with alcohol every once in a while just to make sure I'm sanitizing it because you can get styes and infections and you don't want that. Okay and then I'm just going to put 
Well, we'll close one again. Put a tiny bit more mascara on, just like a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna take the NYX lip liner in the shade New. This is a retractable one. I freaking love this. It is like my perfect color for my lips. And I'm just gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna take some of the Smith's Minted Rose Balm. You can get this at Sephora or Ulta, like in the um, to-go section. Um, not the to-go section, whenever you're like walking to the register area, that's where you would find it. And I take a tiny bit of this and I put it on my lips. And this is my favorite trick for like lipstick in the summertime because it's chapstick and you just put lip liner and it makes your lips so nice and juicy. And then there you have it. That's basically it. And afterwards you can just set yourself with some setting spray and you'll be good to go for the whole day basically. And your makeup will be pretty much sweat proof, anything proof, easy, simple, on the go, nothing too complicated. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.